So we've looked at discretionary, we've looked at mandatory access control. Let's take a look at non-discretionary access control. All this basically means that instead of looking at the user or looking at the rules to decide whether or not a subject can access an object, we're going to look at the role to which the user belongs. Now this is a great authentication or access control mechanism that is used based on a user's job description. A user may actually hold several different job titles and instead of trying to isolate every control based on a user and tailor each user, which two different users may be slightly different, you can simply assign users to different roles and it's the role that dictates access control. Another type of non-discretionary access control is referred to as lattice-based access control. In some cases, just specifying the role that a user fulfills is not good enough. You may want to create a lattice or a table in which you grant access based on both the subject's roles and the particular task. You may find that a database administrator may need access to perform certain tasks, but not all tasks. So just specifying the role as a DBA may not be enough. You may need to create a table of all the different tasks that a DBA may need to perform. Both of these non-discretionary access control techniques are fairly common in environments with frequent personnel changes. Think about discretionary access control. If you turn over personnel frequently, you would have to rebuild the access control table and all the controls for a specific user every time you turn that user over. When one user leaves, you would have to disable the controls. When a new user comes in, you would have to re-enable the controls. When you have high turnover, it's a lot easier to say, okay, this database administrator task or role gets these particular permissions. So a new DBA comes in, you assign that user to DBA role, and he or she would get all the permissions that go along with that.